We're starting to learn more about Mark Judge. He's the third person that Professor Christine Blasey Ford alleges was in the room when she says Brett Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her in high school. Judge says the situation uh, that, that Ford alleges never happened, but I want to take a look at who this guy, Mark Judge, is. He and Kavanaugh attended Georgetown Prep together, graduating in the early 1980s. In an interview with the New York Times, Judge cites their private school experiences and Catholic upbringing to dispute Professor Ford's allegations, saying something like that, a drunken assault at a party would stick out. But judges' own writings recount hazy drunken partying, including a bachelor party featuring a music teacher, students chugging beer, and all of them being, quote, entertained by the stripper. His other book, entitled Wasted, Tales of a Gen X Drunk, talk about a Bart Cat Bart Oh, Kavanaugh getting drunk and vomiting in the backseat of a car, leading to speculation that the passage uses a pseudonym for Brett Kavanaugh. And Judge's high school yearbook, quote, appears to endorse violence against women. And at least one other caption in the yearbook seems to make light of the issue. All things Judge would have had control over as the yearbook's caption editor. Later in life, according to Judge, he found the error of his ways, getting sober, getting back into religion, and briefly teaching at Georgetown University. But he also advocated for a, quote, ambiguous middle ground when it comes to consent, and what he called, quote, the wonderful beauty of uncontrollable male passion. It's the discrepancy in judge, uh, Judge's defense of Kavanaugh that they were oh good Catholic God. private school boys just playing sports and doing schoolwork against his other writings about the same time where Judge says he drank heavily, quote, lusted after girls and his views on how men should treat women. All of this could make things like this quote Kavanaugh made in 2015, reflecting on a saying that he and his classmates ha had take on new meaning. We had a good saying that we've, we've held firm to to, the, uh, to this day, as the dean uh, was reminding me before, uh, before the talk, which is what happens at Georgetown Prep stays at Georgetown Prep. That's been a good thing for all of us, I think. All right, that's what I, I, I I'm just taken one yeah. more time. The wonderful beauty the wonderful of uncontrollable beauty male passion. Of uncontrollable male passion. Yeah. He wrote that. Hey, MSNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there and click on any of the videos here to watch the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more MSNBC for free every day with our newsletters. Just visit msnbc.com newsletters to sign up now.